Welcome back. This afternoon, you're listening to the Todd Laborowitz Show, Real Estate Radio on Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. I am your host, Todd Laborowitz, and we are speaking with Jackie DiCarlo, Executive Director of Mana Food Center. They lead and manage all facets of Mana Food Center to fulfill its mission on eliminating hunger in Montgomery County through food distribution, education, and advocacy. Mana serves approximately 35,000 families annually. Hunger is a hidden but prevalent problem in Montgomery County and other areas. One of every four county residents is at risk of hunger, and almost a third of all public school students qualify for a free or reduced price meal. Their vision is to be center of collaboration among concerned individuals and agencies to end hunger. Now, Jackie, we were talking about to weigh to someone's heart is through their stomach. And my grandmother told me that my whole life growing up, and you shared. Yeah, your grandmother was a wise woman like mine, and uh, it's true. When you break bread with people, when you get get their basic needs met, you are able to uh, share yourself and and be fully who you are. And that's what we're interested in at Mana Food Centers, making sure that everybody in our community has enough to eat so that they can thrive as individuals, as families, as members of the community. Now, can you tell me a little bit more about your mission Sure. Um, MANA exists um, to make sure that people in Montgomery County, Maryland, have enough food to eat. Um, They are able to visit us. A family can come once a month, and uh, they get a box of food, which can be three to five days' worth of of healthy and nutritious um, uh, ingredients like pasta or beans. Um, We also have open boxes of fresh produce, and that really helps them stretch their budget. Unfortunately, there are a lot of folks who are working poor um, who can't really make ends meet. And so as the, um, a, as the center of ending chronic hunger in, in Montgomery County, MANA is focused on giving them that kind of support on a monthly basis so that they don't have to worry about where their next meal is coming from and they can stretch their do- dollars to pay for rent, gasoline, that sort of thing. Perfect. So it helps them balance it out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and with families, it takes a lot of pressure off so people can spend more time with their family. Yeah. I mean, there are so many uh, incredibly uh, hardworking families who are um, juggling jobs, getting their kids to school, and then to have the stresses of not knowing where their next meal is coming from. Um, MANA tries to to relieve that so that they can focus more on um, you know helping their kids uh, with their homework and uh, advancing in their careers or on you know a lot of folks are still struggling with unemployment you know gaining the skills they need to secure uh, a good steady job. Now, how long has Mana been involved with the hunger work and what is the current need? Well, we've been um, here in Montgomery County, and we were started by a bunch of uh, community-based uh, groups who 30 years ago said it was intolerable. Um, that there be hungry people in Montgomery County. Unfortunately, although we reach about half of the people um, and the families uh, in our community with the recent um, economic difficulties and recession, the the need continues to grow. And there are about 70,000 of our neighbors here in Montgomery County who are food insecure, which is a jargony kind of way of saying that these are folks who are not sure that they're always going to be able to open that refrigerator door and know that it's filled with nutritious food or there's not enough in their pantries. Right. And with property taxes going up, gas prices going up, people have to get to work, the metro is getting more expensive, There's bill, we're getting hit in every direction that sometimes it's hard to put food in that refrigerator. Exactly. There's a lot of different um, constraints on people's budgets. And one of the things that MANA does is our um, that food distribution that I talked about, but we also do nutrition education. So we'll go into stores. Um, uh, the local giant stores are very um, uh, welcoming of ours uh, to us. And we use a curriculum called Cooking Matters. It's from a group called Share Our Strength. And it really um, steps through uh, each aisle of the food store, and it helps people um, learn to do things like buy in bulk and um, buy generic or, you know, not always the, the fanciest price brands, but the, you, you can make your, your dollars go um, farther uh, depending on what your choices are. And also to do things um, like prepare more of your f- uh, foods on your own, learn how to cook a little bit. 
And that way you can stretch your dollars. So we try to uh, equip people with the skills they need and the information they need to become um, more self-sufficient. Great. Now, in Montgomery County, uh, it's a high cost of living. Mm-hmm. You're not just reaching out to below the property line. There's people that are in tough situations as well. It's You're, you're probably seeing a, across the board. Yeah. Montgomery County is a great county in so many ways, and, and one of the ways is diversity. Um, but unfortunately, there's a, a big gulf um, in incomes from for uh, one neighborhood to the next. And what we see at MANA um, and what our, our growth we've experienced is in our, our client population are the, the folks who are trying to make ends meet. They're working poor. And I tell people if my mom, when my mom became a single mom when I was in the seventh grade, my sister was in high school. My mom only had a high school education. She was doing clerical work. Well, in today's world, she would have had to make $58,000 a year to survive in, in Montgomery County. Um, without any kind of food stamps or, uh, you know, support like that. Well, with the high school education in, in today's world, that's really hard to get 58000 Yeah. Wow. Well, by the way, if you're just tuning in, I have with me Jackie DiCarlo, Executive Director of Mana Food Center. I am your host, Todd LaBorowit, and you're listening to Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. You were talking about another program as well where my wife, she volunteered a KIPP. Mm-hmm. And uh, you had a program where I'll let you explain it. Sure, it's it's uh, named in in memory of one of our former staff members, Karen Goldberg. It's the Karen Goldberg Smart Sex Program, and what we do is it's a unique um, community partnership. We work with fifty seven different public schools. We also reach out to um, community groups. It could be faith based groups, Kiwanis Club, KIPP. And those groups promise to work with us on a a weekly basis to make sure that on Fridays, uh, children in those 57 schools who are eligible for free and reduced meals, in other words, whose families are are, uh, struggling in poverty, they get a packet of healthy and nutritious food to take home, the Smart Sack. And so we provide the food. Our community partners put the Smart Sacks together. And then the schools, the teachers, the guidance counselors, um, send those home on Friday so we know that the the family um, doesn't have to wait until Monday to to know that the, the kids are going to get those healthy, nutritious meals that they're relying on. Um, and as summer's coming up now, so we're able to do that in uh, several schools that have uh, summer school programs. And I, some of these organizations are outside of Montgomery County. Um, there are uh, our mission is focused in Montgomery County, but we do have uh, regional support. And the Weekend Bag program is um, a, a model used by many different food banks, so it's it's um, quite possible that you know it's similar to what's happening in the district, PG County or Prince George's County, Northern Virginia. Okay. Well, what I'd like to offer you, our listeners, is the opportunity to get in touch with Mana Food Center. Uh, and just call or text me at 301-467-8444. That number again is 301-467-8444, and we'll get you in touch with them so we can get some help for you if you need it. And uh, what I'd like to do is talk about the other side of it. Where's all this food coming from? <laughs> well, we we get food from a lot of different sources, um, and this is one of the ways that the community can help out is that a lot of groups do food drives for us. Um, where uh, Girl Scouts or, uh, again, a faith-based group, uh, a business, will hold over a certain period of time a food drive where people will um, donate non-perishable items uh, to us. Uh, also, families give to us. This is the, the season of um, gardens, and we're getting people dropping off some of the things that they're harvesting in their own gardens. We are rescuing food from farmer's markets every weekend. Um, where the farmers at the end of the day have said, well, I I didn't sell uh, all these tomatoes or all this cauliflower, so they'll donate it uh, to Mana Food Center. And every weekday we go out um, to grocery stores. Uh, We have uh, a fleet of uh, great drivers and trucks, and we go to the Giants and the Safeways and the Whole Foods, and we rescue food that would have otherwise um, ended up in dumpsters. Uh, this is all very healthy food. It's it's fresh, but it maybe has a blemish or the it may be mislabeled. There might have been a spelling error on the label or something. So the company can't sell it, but we can use it. Now, to pull that kind of resources, it must take an army. 
<laughs> well, it, volunteers. Well, indeed, we couldn't do our work without volunteers. We have about 20 paid staff at, at MANA, and then we have 32 full-time equivalents and volunteers. Wow. Well, what I'd like to offer you, if you're willing to volunteer uh, to our listeners, I'd like to give you the opportunity to have the chance to volunteer for MANA Food Center. Just call or text me at 301-467-8444. That number again is 301-467-8444. Now, what makes you most hopeful about your work? Well, uh, we do have a great county, and so I know that we're going to come up with the resources that we need and the ideas we need to end chronic hunger here in Montgomery County. And you're in the right direction. Right, thanks so Is much. there another way that people can get in touch with you? Uh, Manafood.org. And me personally, my number is 240-268-2524. Perfect. Well, Jackie DiCarlo, Executive Director of Mana Food Center. Also coming up next Saturday at 1 p.m., we'll be talking with Sari Kirkland, Attorney at Law with Kirkland Law Group. Also, we'll have Jim Gwynn with Distinctive Home Care, Justin Saltzman, Liberty Mutual. Our Mortgage Matters will be talking about out-of-town lenders and appraisals coming in low. And we'll have Tara Handren, Regional VP of Karen DC. I also want to thank our producer, Craig Gilner. We appreciate all the hard work you put into each show and every week. Also, thank you to Ellie Vandergriff, our photographer and editor for our website. Check it out at www.toddleborowit.com. Let me know what you think. Tune in to the Todd Laborowit Show next Saturday, June 28th at 1 p.m. right here on Salem Broadcast Network, WRC 1260 AM. You need the inside scoop. Investors endured two devastating bear market corrections since the year 2000. Unfortunately, many people still haven't recovered from their losses, yet our clients tell a different story. I'm Jim Musgrave with Research Financial Strategies. For investments that make money in both bull and bear markets, call me at 301-588-0514 or visit jimmusgrave.com to learn how Research Financial Strategies can benefit you, your family, and your business. Can you afford not to?